From north to south, east to west, we're going to explore the art. The art full of wonders and mysteries. Welcome to Finding Art. Cancer is a type of disease where cells grow out of control, divide and invade other tissues. With cancer, the normal process of cell division goes out of control. Cells change their nature because mutations have occurred in their genes. All the daughter cells of cancer cells are also cancerous. Let's get to know about liver cancer. Liver cancer Symptoms of liver cancer Signs and symptoms of liver cancer tend not to be felt or noticed until the cancer is well advanced. The symptoms may include jaundice, abdominal pain, often on the right side may reach as high up as the shoulder, hepatomegaly, enlarged liver, fatigue, nausea, back pain, general itching, fever, weight loss, loss of appetite, feeling very full after a small meal, and enlarged spleen felt as a mass under the ribs on the left side. Some paraneoplastic syndromes related to liver cancer include hypercalcemia, high blood calcium levels, hypoglycemia, low blood sugar levels, erythrocytosis, high red blood cell count, hypercholesterolemia, high cholesterol levels, gynecomastia, breast enlargement, shrinking of testicles in men. Causes of liver cancer Gender Men are more likely to get hepatocellular carcinoma than women. Weight Obesity can increase the risk for hepatocellular carcinoma. Anabolic steroid use Male hormones abused by athletes to increase muscle can slightly increase liver cancer risk with long-term use. Inherited metabolic diseases Diseases that disrupt the normal metabolism of the body have been shown to increase your risk of liver cancer. Rare diseases Studies have found a link between liver cancer and some rare diseases like alpha-1, antitrypsin deficiency, tyrosinemia, and Wilson's disease. Cirrhosis Cirrhosis that may lead to liver cancer can be caused by infection with a virus such as hepatitis B or C, long-term alcohol drinking, inherited diseases such as iron overload disorder, and alpha-1 antitrypsin deficiency. Alcohol Drinking more than around 5 units of alcohol a day increases the risk of liver cancer. Long-term heavy drinking causes cirrhosis and may also directly damage the DNA in the liver cells. Non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. It may lead to cirrhosis and liver cancer. The symptoms are having extra weight around the waist, using insulin less effectively than normal, type 2 diabetes, high blood pressure. Smoking. Smokers who drink large amounts of alcohol may have a risk that is almost 10 times higher than people who don't smoke or drink. Low immunity. HIV and AIDS lower immunity. An overview of individual studies showed that people with HIV or AIDS have a risk of liver cancer that is around 5 times higher than people who don't have HIV or AIDS. Lupus. Systemic lupus erythematosus, SLE, is a chronic condition that causes inflammation of the skin and joints and may include organs such as the heart and kidneys. People with SLE have more than double the risk of liver cancer compared to the general population. Other causes include family history, diabetes, gallbladder removal, radiation from x-rays or CT scans, chemicals. Diagnosis Liver cancer diagnostic tests Blood test one common blood test detects alpha fetoprotein AFP, which can be a sign of liver cancer. Other blood tests may measure how well the liver is working. Computerized tomography CT scans. A series of x-rays of your liver are taken to give a more detailed three-dimensional image. Magnetic resonance imaging MRI scans. Uses a strong magnetic field and radio waves to build up a picture of the inside of your liver. Biopsy. A biopsy may be obtained by fine needle aspiration FNA. A thin needle is inserted into the liver to remove a small amount of tissue. Core biopsy. This is similar to FNA, but a thicker needle is used to remove small cylinder-shaped samples. Laparoscopy. A small incision is made in the abdomen, and a thin lighted tube laparoscope is inserted to view the tumor. Angiogram. The doctor injects dye into an artery. This allows the blood vessels in the liver to be seen on an x-ray. Ultrasound scans. High frequency sound waves are used to create an image of your liver, which can highlight any abnormalities. 
for watching. This is your host Tracy Gomez. Please subscribe. See you in my next video.